Now I know. But we used to test it. Like, no. Do another, do another test. No. The time for testing is over. Oh. I'm streaming. I'm already back. All right. Yeah, I'm back. Welcome yeah. back. I'm thinking I'm, I'm back. thinking I'm back. Call me John Wick. <laughs> Call me John Wick. Uh, I'm Matt. This is Super Apartment Friends. Jess is around. Hey! Like, like God, she's everywhere. Well, I'm omnipresent. Omnipresent. I omnipotent. I used yeah, to think omnip I'm not omnip omnipotent. <laughs> I used to think omnipotent was pronounced omnipotent. Uh, which makes sense, well, right? in the same vein as omnipresent. Yeah, right? Is it omnipresent? <laughs> Maybe it should be. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe it should be omnipresent. <laughs> uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, I am a fuck boy, so I was out being a fuck boy. I had to take a pee. I had to help Jess finish her leftovers. You know, we're humans. Yeah. We're humans. Yeah. We gotta fool up. We gotta fuel up. We gotta release waste byproducts. And I always have leftovers, and Matt is so great about helping me. I like them. food. You do like food, and I and sometimes I don't eat all of my food. <laughs> Ricky was gonna call me Johnson Dick. Great. You call him Uncle. Uncle Johnson Dick. Okay, sounds good. Sounds legit. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, Ted, that is a hot take that I don't know if the world's ready for. Uh, he said he liked Atomic Blonde better than John Wick. Now, I, I can't... Seen, no, I, I haven't seen, seen Atomic, Atomic Blonde, Blonde, so it's unfair of me to judge, but that trailer... I fucking love John Wick. John Wick though. was... Mwah, I was not expecting like. it to be good, though. Oh, right. We went in thinking it, yeah. of it as, like, a joke. Like, yeah. oh, Keanu goes crazy and kills everybody because yeah. somebody killed his dog. That sounds funny. Yeah. And it is yeah, kind yeah. of funny, and it but is it's also funny, fucking awesome. But it's also, a, like, an amazing story that doesn't have much of a story yeah but like it's just an incredible action film yeah now atomic blonde maybe maybe that's the same maybe that's the same thing maybe maybe that'll be yeah so i i don't want to yeah it shouldn't prejudge judgment it on that. yeah no that's because i've never seen it and maybe that maybe that's the same deal yeah could be could be all right so jess in this game it's like it's kind of like arcade donkey kong but there, oh shit, but my controller isn't working. Oh, just the D-pad's not working. Great. Great. But so, there we go. Instead of just, uh, oh boy, Don Kong Jr.'s throwing mushrooms at me. You See, you're catching, you're catching kind of it later in the game when things are really complicated and, and, and weird. Um, but I need to find a key. I need to not, well, actually, maybe I do need to get shrunk so I can get under here. I need to find the key and get to the exit. Now, there's other goodies that I can get along the way that give me lives. Oh, and I can swim in the waterfalls. Okay. Oh, man, I can skip all this junk and go straight to the key. I gotta watch out for this boy. This nasty boy. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. There's a switch. Oh, I need to flip the switch. Oh, God. Oh, no, I threw the key into nothingness. And I'm dead. But, yeah. So, it's it's neat. It's like the arcade Donkey Kong, but a little more complicated. Okay. Or sometimes a lot more complicated. It also, yeah, it seems like RPG like crazy. Well, it's not really an RPG. It's just a, it's a puzzly platformer. I think water turns me back to normal. Nope, sure doesn't. Donkey Kong Jr., you little devil. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. How'd that happen? Well, just it's just a time thing. Oh, okay. You stay small for a few seconds. Oh my god, he's throwing so many shrinky mushrooms. Oh god. That's like Mario Kart. Yeah. That doesn't oh. even happen in Super Nintendo Mario Kart. What? The can shrinking? We, yeah, it does. Turn? It does? In the Super Nintendo one, yeah. That's the only one that it happens in. No. Yeah, the other games, it's a lightning bolt. Oh, well, there's a there's a power that makes you small. Right. That's all I mean. Got you. So that happens in Super Nintendo? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah only the computer players can use the shrinking mushroom, which yeah, is, bullshit. is bullshit. I think okay. Toad... 
Toad and the princess use it. I guess that's what I'm thinking of. Like, only the computer can use it. And then everybody has access to the lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nothing. I didn't get shit. Oh my gosh, when that kid was in the office this week, he showed me some of his games on his iPad, and one of them was, like, practically just gambling. Yeah, a lot of them are. It's messed up. yeah. Gambling and then, like, shooting arrows into, like, a dummy's head. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of violent. I'm I'm okay. I'm totally fine with and I'm bored with violent games, but context is everything. Right, and I mean, there's no blood. You can pay money to add blood. Oh, oh. That's a bit it's much. It's like a weird freemium game. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of weird bullshit out there. But what was cool was that Grayson didn't seem interested in any of that. Yeah. He was just interested in putting arrows in somebody's head. As you do. Yeah, Ted. Okay, Ted said he li- he really liked John Wick, um, but uh, the ads for Atomic Blonde didn't sell it well. Riccio likes that it's a simple story in a de- John Wick is a simple story in a detailed world, mm-hmm. which is a cool thing. Yes, that's what I love about it. And then he compared it to anime. Whereas the anime tries to be super intricate with its lore and super annoyingly intricate in its plot and themes and relationships. Yeah, I don't know. Anime is a hard sell for me. There's a there's a handful that I'm into, but... Well, and in that same vein, like how they tried to over-explain Alien. Well, or even in it's John Wick... Atheist. In John Wick 2, they put too much bullshit in. Absolutely, yeah. They, they, they crammed it full of extraneous like world building type stuff and it's like no less is more my man less is so much more don't you don't you see oh fuck hey john (laughs) oh no mario what is happening my boy i can't put it there my min min my min min okay ah fuck we're meant to be i want to have Yo, baby. Key, you're so good to me. Oh, I can't believe that worked. That did not work. Oh, Mario. Okay, so there's FY, just so everyone knows. It seems like it's slippery. Well, there's wind pushing me to the right. Bullshit. Constantly. No, thank you. Mm-mm. I will never play this game. This, well, I'm in the second to last world. All right. They don't introduce this stuff right out the gate. It seems very hard. I don't want to play it. It's pretty tough. I've... Oh boy, those uh those grape sodas are making me a burpee lad. Um, I, I I appreciate the way that this game is difficult because um, with a couple exceptions, it never feels like cheap bullshit. There have been a couple exceptions where it was kind of cheap bullshit. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, it is not. Okay. Now that should not land on the spikes. That should be okay. Close enough. We out. I'm not getting that purse. Don't get the purse, Matt. Don't need it. I'm burpee, too. I think we're just 34. We are 34. Well, hang on. I'm not 34 for, like, two, three weeks. I'm 34 this year. We're yep. both 34 this year. I know, just I just want to hang on to 33 for a little bit longer. What? I don't know. Who fucking knows? I don't know. Who cares? That's a good point. That's a good point, Jess. I guess, you know, it's less... Get, getting old is less scary for, like, vanity reasons than it is knowing that I'm a little teeny bit closer to death. That's... Oh, man. I welcome death. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't. I mean, jeez. Isn't that the ultimate adventure? Who okay, I get. I guess when you put it like that. Oh, see now this is a brainy game. I don't mean it like I want to bring on death, but I I, I, don't I understand care. now. Like, fine. Right. I'm interested to see what will happen one day. That's yeah. No, that's a good. That that seems like a healthy attitude actually. I I'd should like to die before I suffer. Fair. Okay, so the key's there, or the door's there, so I need to throw the key onto this 
yeah. conveyor belt, yep. and I need I to see. ladder up and around again. I, I understand now. Yeah. It but I gotta like do puzzle, it quick. Puzzle. This is a cool game. Yeah. This is a cool game. I'm I sorry, I dig I, this. I judged it too hard. I was gonna say you kind of shat on it real fast. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Hey, it's fine. You gotta get up this ladder real quick. Please don't disappear, Key. Please. You got it. No! Oh, fuck no. you! You, you had fuck. it. I agree. That's bullshit. You had it. I agree. And now I gotta do this all over again. Uh, but okay. I understand the mechanics now. Here's I what I'm going to do. I think I was intimidated by the graphics. Yeah, the graphics are intimidating. Because they're so badass. Yeah. It looks too realistic. It does. Good. Here, but see that? I already built a ladder. And... Oh, yeah. So it saved that. And here's, what I, here's something I found out last time. These platforms, so they're timed, right? Yeah. They go away. But whenever you hit another platform... It extends their time for all of them. Okay. So it's going that by sense. that last ladder so, that I yeah. just placed. So, like, yeah, it's... That's, like, the plan anyway. They wanted you to lose. But what the fuck is that about? Okay, they want you to do it, they want you to do it better. I guess, but what did I do wrong? Okay, um, you're missing... This is it, man. This is the whole level, too. No, there's gotta be something you're missing. There's... I don't... You gotta do something with the oil. The oil's just a hazard. Like, it's yeah, just gonna kill me if I touch it. Can't can you build something underneath it, though? No. Well, I guess I could put the ladder under it and see put if that the does something. Under it and maybe it'll explode the key over to where it needs to be. I'll try that. Like, I feel like you need to use that. Because that's the only other variable in this level. Yeah, it's we that's that is weird placement. It didn't do anything with the ladder. Huh. That's weird. Pretty sweet music. The uh Jessica, the the Twitch our Twitch our Twitch buddies were split on John Wick 2. I think yeah, Riccio loved it, and I think Ted was kind of on our boat of it being not quite as hot shit. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate like, it. it. It's got a lot fun. of good I action. Great, I had a great time in the theater watching it, but it just was not, it was not John Wick 1. Right. And I mean, it's not going to be, because John Wick 1 is a different movie. Right, and that's so that the thing. might have been selfish on my part to think that it should have been... Oh fuck! Fuck and fuck! Fuck you, you devil game! I love you. So what's happening though? Like, what's wrong here? I can't. Oh, the key's gonna disappear before I can get up there. Yeah, like that. So yeah, either the ladder disappears you need to too make fast. It drop. You need to make it drop to you. No, it needs to stay up there because if it drops to me, I can't get it back up there. Oh, okay. I can't carry the can key up reverse? a ladder. You can't reverse No, okay. no, I wish I could. It would make life so much better. Unless there's something... I want to check out behind this purse. I don't think there's anything behind the purse. Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. I guess I'm doing that. <laughs> Well, I need to get this ladder. It wouldn't... If I get up there without that ladder, there's Couldn't no point. could you do that when you're up there already? What do you mean? Couldn't you get that going, get the other ladder going when you're up there already? Yeah, yeah, I just didn't... Didn't... So you could go up there first, grab the key... So the key starts to disappear, like, the second I let go of it. Right. So, you let it go... Yeah, there we go. But now I can't get up there, because the fucking ladder doesn't last. You have to redo it over there on the left, really quick. 
but then the key will disappear. I mean, I'll try it. Um, like, can't you read well, here, I'm going to save, I'm going to save the middle, the middle one. Put this one here. This is intense. It is. It's a tough game. It's a tough little cookie. Oh shit! I touched that. I touched the conveyor belt. That I think fucked me. Yeah, this is. Every once in a while, you have to have like split second precision like this. Oh, here we go. There it is. Very good, Matthew. Well, you gave me the right idea. With the the order of the ladders is what did it there. It's a tough game. It's a tough little game. Which is why I've never beaten this before. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in this That's game. That's awesome. Yeah. Way to go. Thank you. Oh, dude. On that uh, 24-7 Nintendo stream. Uh-huh. Uh, they do a lot of Luigi's Mansion. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, like synth and, and like. Electro Wait, like covers jazz. of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Like, I gotta listen to that more. They, well, I mean, they did just some regular, just regular ones, but a lot of them are techno remixes. And oh, stuff sure. That are just fun. I yeah. Don't know. A lot of them are just fun. It's great for listening to at work. Oh, yeah. I love but, some good work music. The Luigi Mansion ones are wow. always great because you hear. Do they use oh, sound oh, clips? Oh, 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 I don't know. Oh, Dude, no. those Luigi's Mansion games are great. Yeah. Um, and it's Dark Moon that they use a lot. Like, yeah. From, from the, the 3DS one, yeah. yeah, is really good. Um, yeah, I hope I hope they make another Luigi's Mansion game. I was talking about that on, oh shit, on Tumblr. super stuck. I, I never beat... Oh, they're puzzly, yeah. yeah. I never beat Dark Moon because I was incredibly stuck. Yeah, no, they're, they're little brain twisters. Fuck, fuck, I was there and I... Touch the wrong ladder. Yeah, you touch the wrong ladder. This game requires exacting precision. <laughs> it's very, like, it's very good and it's very rewarding. And every time you fuck up, again, with, with the exception of two like kind of shitty fair. levels, it's right? It's fair. fair. Yeah. It's yeah. your it's your fault. Yeah. That you fail. Yeah. It's really good. This game's really good, and nobody nobody talks about it. I the only person I know who knows of it is Jeff Klein. Who I borrowed it from originally. Oh, okay. He he he's like the only person I know who who knew about it. What's this one called? You know, it's technically it's just called Donkey Kong, um, but it is it is kind of ah, fuck. It's kind of nicknamed Donkey Kong ninety four to differentiate it from the old arcade game. Okay. But it, it's not fuck. It's not. I need to go the other way. It's Maybe not called that way. officially. You okay. know what I mean. I will not stop marking out for Luigi. I love Luigi, Ted. Luigi's great. I'll mark out all day. Nice use of wrestling lingo. I like that. Oh, man. Guys, WrestleMania's coming up. Yes, it is. Me and Ralph have been talking about wrestling and watching a little wrestling again. It got it kind of fell off the wagon for a while. Wrestling's good, and everyone should give it a chance. And I'm, I'm sick of nobody giving it a chance. It's very fun. Is it, like, ridiculous and uh, not the smartest shit ever? Of course. That is part of why it's fun. Okay, here we go. I still went the wrong way, but it worked. Fuck you! Yes! Fucking yes! <laughs> Isn't that a great noise? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true ted if i if i had focused on the game instead of how much i love luigi maybe i would have beaten that level faster but you know what i don't regret it good because look at this i'm gonna get a bunch of lives oh they didn't agree with that last one i like your i like your arctic assault gear you have on jess i know i'm ready to go out for a cigarette but i haven't gone out yet <laughs> Not to call you out, but okay. to call you out a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Skeens. 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 
Hey game, what's the matter? I think this controller must be low on juice. There we go. Or I was just hitting the wrong button. Rikio, if I get Monster Hunter World, will you play it with me? Is that possible? Do you have a PS4? Is that how multiplayer works on this game? Let me be your video game grandpa. How does this one work? Can you explain this tell to me? Tell me, son? tell me how this game works. I'm a million. Ooh. Oh yeah, they just they just told me that that's lava and not not just red water. Ooh, which means I need that platform to get the key back. Let's do it about there. That, man, that just friendly platform music stresses me out. It's like, no, I know you're villainous. Okay, we put the key up there. And then I climb the ladder. Ooh, faster, please, Mario! Yes! Easy breezy. I wasn't worried for a second. Yes, I was multiple seconds <laughs> Rikyo has a PS4 as soon as the semester is over he'll buy Monster Hunter World for himself but beat one of the final bosses on my first go well good that doesn't answer my question about multiplayer I don't is it fun in single player I don't know I, I know so little about I'm, I know the basics I know the gist of those games and I actually had the the demo for the 3DS game, but there was so much, there was so much, it was so much tutorial shit that I was like, I don't want to play this tutorial anymore. <laughs> like I didn't make it through the demo, which okay. I think I have a short attention span, nah. but also it's like the dem the tu the demo was like, talk to this guy. Now talk to this guy. Now talk to this guy. And I'm like, tell me what the game's like. <laughs> yes, Jess is dressed like Roger Moore at the beginning of, of U2 A Kill. We gotta watch those Bond movies. Oh, can they see me? No, I think you're off screen. Okay. That's why they asked. But we got that. You you bought that crate of James Bond VHSs that we need to work oh, through. Oh, we still yet. need to do that. Yeah. I, I think bought, that'd be I a... bought this box of all the James Bond movies for twelve dollars. And it's and it's all of them. Well, it's like it's like Doctor No through Casino Royale, I think. Yeah. It, like, it doesn't have the, the most recent, like, couple. There we go. I'm going to just barrel roll straight into the lava. We did it. Very good. That's, that's what I've been hearing. I've been hearing that, um, I've been hearing that world is better. Oh, yeah. That's, well, that's the thing. Uh, Monster Hunter World, thankfully, the multiplayer is co-op, so Rikyo can't. Or most likely, he won't just kill me over and over again like when we played Godzilla, but who knows? Maybe he will. Okay. Oh, so many switches to flip. Oh, and so many balls to get hit by. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I don't know if Casino Royale was on was in that the box of VHSs, but no. it was, it might've no, been the last Pierce through, Brosnan one. Pierce Brosnan, I think, and no, and no Daniel Craig. Which makes sense. Cause yeah, that would be crazy to have those on, on ye old VHS. It'd be kind of sweet though. I don't know if they put those on VHS. No, I don't think they did. No, that's what I'm saying. It'd be sweet if they did. Fuck. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Um, we never saw Spectre. I heard very not great things about it. Yeah. Which is a bummer. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Kyo, not get that free life. That's what I'm going to do, apparently. All right. There we go. Now I can flip this switch. Oh, yeah. What am I, flip mode? I'm switching it on them left and right. Oh, drop those bad boys. Those two nasty boys. Oh, and then kill myself.
Yeah, the last Brosnan, the last Brosnan was Die Another Day. I saw it in the theater, and it was a mess, but kind of a fun mess. That was the one with Halle Berry in it. Wait, yes. Yeah, yeah. And the invisible car and the ice castle. Yep. It's very. It was a little silly. It was a little silly. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to check out Spectre. I mean, there's still a bunch of the old Bond movies that I haven't seen. I'm I'm actually at this point I'm not sure which ones I have and haven't seen because I would just kind of randomly catch them on TV when I could. Mostly Moonraker, because Moonraker is fucking awesome. <laughs> And Goldfinger. I liked Goldfinger a lot. Fuck. Ah, yeah. One thing, one thing I will say about this game, Jess, is that the hard puzzle levels... When you do beat them, you feel like a fucking genius. And that's really satisfying. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, I am the smartest person alive. Oh, but there's a time limit in this game, too. So I can't just fuck around forever. Right, get out of here. There we go. Oh, I think I need to drop this boy too, because I need to use these bad boys as platforms. Yes. Fuck! No! I was there! I had all the pieces in a row. I had everything. I had it all. Yeah. It's okay. I'll have to read. Okay, Ted was saying uh, a lot of people love Goldfinger, but in that movie, technically the only thing Bond does is kill one guy. Everything else like happens independent of him, and so that is something I'll have to watch for the next when we watch that. Yeah, I like him killing people. Right. But yeah, it sounds like maybe a lot of shit happens through like happenstance. God damn it. It's okay. So, in the original Donkey Kong arcade game, if you fell from too high, you would just die. Yeah. Frustrating. In this game, if you fall from pretty high, but not too high, Mario will, like, tuck and roll. Which is great, because he doesn't die. It's not great, because 99% of the time, he tucks and rolls into a fucking death trap. He, he just gleefully... Spins into it. It's not great. I... No, see, that's the thing. I would... I, I have sought help when it was a puzzly thing that I couldn't figure out. This, I know what to do. I know how to do it. And it's just a matter of... Doing it. So I'm not... There's no, there's nothing a, a, a video on YouTube can do to help me here. It's, it all comes down to my skill or extreme lack thereof. I know, I'm not patient enough. Why am I like that? It just, it's because you're, it's because you're, you're streaming. You have to take oh, a breath. yeah. I gotta, I gotta Think impress everybody. Cause, cause yeah, if you, if you weren't streaming... You'd probably I'd pl take a breath. Play a little more methodically. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're onto something, Jessica. I'm hot dogging. I do love the danger, though. I'll be totally honest. You uh -oh. saw me. Uh, congratulations, congratulations, Will and Amber. Cool, that makes me happy. That makes me happy too. Amber just told Jeff about it today. Oh yeah, what's he think? I think he thinks it's, it's great. I think he thinks it's great. Good. All right. 
Oh, I didn't flip that switch yet. Dang it. Oh, forts. Okay, we're fine. Oh, we're fine. Boop, 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 boop. Guys, I'm excited because last week I got to Dungeon Master a game of Dread, which is not D&D, &D, but it's an RPG. Um, and then this weekend I get to Dungeon Master a D&D &D game with Jess and uh, her sister and brother-in-law and niece. And it's going to be our third session. I'm still kind of a green DM, but I'm getting some experience under my belt. And they're all really great players. And I'm just going to say, if you get a chance to play any kind of RPG, you should take that chance. Because it's awesome. Our Dread game uh, took some really hilariously weird turns. Um, Mikey was our one new player, right, Jess? Yeah. So, Mike... Well, Amber, Amber too. Oh, yeah, Amber, Amber had... No, Amber played in our first Dread game. Oh, she did, didn't she? Yep. Okay, okay. So, our one new player, who had never played any kind of tabletop RPG, so he was a little nervous, and, you know, we had to kind of... He was very nervous. Yeah, and, you know, we kind of talked him through it, and he, his character, um, what we had kind of created, what I had, what, because in Dread... I have a little bit of say in what your character is. And then oh, yeah. and then the player fills in all the interesting blanks. So my skeleton for his character was he's he's a senior in high school and he was captain of the wrestling team. And uh, his coach had offered him steroids. I let him decide if he had taken them. And, and he filled in all the blanks and made it really cool. Um, so he was, you know, he, he really got into the character which was cool for a new player. Yeah. He really got into the headspace of like a headstrong senior in high school. Well, I'll, I'll do it because Dread's a horror game. So weird shit's happening and he's just diving into it, which is oh, awesome. Yeah. But then after a certain point, he reveals that he has been on the steroids and starts to like roid rage and just started grappling with the grandpa character who had just, who had just been recovering from a broken hip. And yeah. was trying to like wrestle him into submission. It was it, it took a such a weird turn. And maybe as a as a game master, I should have reined it in. But it was so fucking funny, and it was such a weird, interesting situation. He was so committed to it. Yeah, he yeah. really got into this headspace. It was so good. It was really frustrating, Will too. It was. I felt not great about that. Because Will couldn't do anything. About right. It. Because Will was the grandpa character. And he had a broken leg. He had a, well, a broken, broken hip. hip. Broken hip. So yeah. he had a, he had disadvantage on all of yeah. Mikey's attacks, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, and I assumed that when Will resisted the attack, then Mikey would back down. Yeah. But Mikey's like, no, it's right rage. I'm going Roy for rage. it. And uh, it was great. Okay, and t yeah, Ted has a friend who GM'd for the first time this week. It's great. I recommend any capacity, any co any any way you can get in on any kind of like D and D or D and D type game. I recommend it. It is such a cool and unique experience. It um, it scratches like four different itches for me at once. It scratches my storytelling itch, my game playing itch. You're so good at it. Well, thanks. Thanks, Jess. You do such a good job at all of it. It's it's amazing. Like, well, it's really fun. It's you get, super you duper get fun. You this headspace of, and I know I keep harping on this, but like you're like the master of ceremonies. Like, well, yeah, that's yeah, that's as as dungeon master, that's kind of your job. Yeah. Well, you do that in all of the games you host. Like, even if we're playing like a dumb board game that doesn't require a host. Right. You do a great job of, well, this is what we're doing. This is our goal. This is what you want to do. You're, you're just great at it. Well, you do a very thanks. Good job. I just, I'm so excited to get people to play this stuff with me. Cause like, I like to, I don't know. I like, oh shit. I just like games. Yeah. Especially. And I, I think, I think one of the reasons why I've started gravitating towards board games and tabletop RPGs so much is that. There's no, there are less barriers to play. Most of those types of games just require you to be able to read. 
Yeah. Whereas, like, trying to... Oh, fuck. Trying to play, like, Smash Brothers or Mario Kart, you gotta know the buttons. You gotta have great reflexes. Oh, I button mashed. You gotta I know the tracks. Smash Brothers. I, I, I do not like Smash Brothers. Right. And and so there's all these... With, with video games, there are all these barriers to entry that, like, m- most of the people I want to play games with aren't willing to cross and understandably we're in our 30s like who's got time to learn a fucking video game unless they want to learn that game they can't just casually pick it up and play it with me like they could a board game you could casually pick up mario kart yeah but the game cheats right the game cheats and and you're just and i'm good. i'm a monster at it and i don't so understand this level see how mikey does that's true mikey might destroy me at it I'm pretty sure Mario Kart 6... So, our friend Mikey has challenged me to a Mario Kart 64 off, which we'll broadcast on here at some point. I can't believe I haven't, I haven't hyped that up on here yet. Yeah, no, that's um, happening. Yeah, that's got to happen. And um, he is the type of Mario Kart 64 player... That knows all That knows the shortcuts. The shortcuts. All, all of the Mario. shortcuts. And so, I know the shortcuts, but I don't fuck with them, with a couple exceptions... With one exception... Um, because they're weird, and if you do it wrong, it's, like, guaranteed that you'll lose. So, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. I yeah, I, I play a straight-laced game of Mario Kart 64. Mikey's into some, some tricks and stuff. Yeah, but he might choke. He might choke, pressure. exactly. It'll depend on how much... How much practicing he's you done. You both know so much about it, though. Like, I'm very interested to see. I think it'll be a great challenge because you're both. You both have a lot, a lot of respect for the game. Oh yeah, fuck and yeah. Mario Kart 64. I had before Mario 64. That was that I was mean, my. I mean, geez, you guys were talking about Mario Kart for like 45 minutes. The other yeah, night. yeah. It's very good. Uh, so yeah, we'll need to we'll need to set that up with him sometime yeah. soon. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. He might demolish me. He could very well demolish me. Why uh, does he stick his leg up like that? Uh, cause he got hurt. Oh. And it's funny. Oh yeah. So yeah, you can be seen on the couch a little bit. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> you see me just frowning over here? <laughs> I should smile more. No man, be real. Be well, you. I was, I'm getting tired because it's time for bed. Well, don't, yeah, don't let me keep you up. No. Did you want to try this? No, I don't. I just wanted to watch. I didn't think anyone could see me. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Boy, this level requires extremely precise jumps. You have to be exacting with your jumps. What's the matter? Nothing. Okay. Okay. I like seeing you. I know, but I'm just sitting there looking at my phone. Nope. Anyway, Riccio uh, Jess is saying that we need to adopt him. By the by. Yeah. So we need to we need to get the the adoption papers together. Alright. Riccio, if we adopt you, you have to play D and D with me. <laughs> yeah. And you have to let me brush your hair. <laughs> yeah, these are both true. Just kidding, I don't want to Fuck. brush your hair. Maybe you do. No. You should. I'm down to eight lives. I gotta be careful. You get a lock on your door. <laughs> Have whoever you want in there. Oh wow! Just Jeez. Tell, me, tell me who they are. Wow, Jess is playing Come a Lucy Goosey. Yeah. You, you, do you wanna you wanna greet them? Oh man, I can't believe I survived this twice. Mario, please. Do you wanna greet them at the door with a shotgun, Jess? No. Yeah, no. right. I wanna greet them with an open hand. Ah, fuck. This level I is respect hard. Respect my son's. Choice in women or men. Good. Or sexy crocodiles. Or sexy crocodiles. As was mentioned earlier. Ricky was gonna DM and fuck you. Good. 
Ted, you gotta tell me about this kaiju D and D game, cause I've been wanting to homebrew one. But if you've already got one, I want to know about it. Hmm. Uh, this level is going to. Ooh. I got five lives, Jess. I need to beat this level and the boss fight after it. If I don't, I'm gonna have to do a couple levels over again. Uh oh. I do. I don't want that. These jumps are evil. Evil? Evil. 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 <laughs> Shut up. Why? Why, Jess? Austin Powers references are so rare in this house, I treasure each and every one. I'm not joking. Good. She was doing the she was doing the Dr. Evil mouth no, finger thing. What? Yeah, you were. I saw you. You stinking liar. You dirty rat. That's right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna curse like. Oh fuck. The rocks sink, Jess. And if they sink, I touch the lava and die. I'm going to bed. All right, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Oh. So, Arigio wants us to adopt him, but he won't be our son. He will be a legal acquaintance. Oh, I love it. That's no, great. That's actually what Good. I Good, then we don't have to be parents. Yeah. It's no, fucking great. That, that actually sounds ideal. Oh, now we don't have to feed him. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. my God. He's gonna feed himself. He's gonna feed himself. Fucking gonna finally. Get a job at the liquor store down the get, street. There's a liquor store you could work yeah. at, Arigio. There's Don't work at the Dairy Mart, though. Don't work at I the Dairy Mart. I get a weird Mart. vibe about that Dairy Mart. I get a really weird Liquor store, go work there. Or at Maria's. That's what I, was, that's what I meant. Oh, okay, I thought yeah. you meant, what is it, Roundhouse? Because I don't oh, like Roundhouse either. Yeah, those weird. are both weird. Don't work at either of those liquor stores. Work at Maria's. Maria's is like an Old West general store. Or work with the handsome young men at Rite Aid. Oh, yeah, those dudes were hitting on you at Rite they, Aid. They were flirting with me today. You, you called them a bunch of Michael B. Jordans. They were, they, they were, they were like three Michael B. Jordans working behind the counter. <laughs> It's crazy. Ted says good night, Jess. Good night. I say good night also. I love you all, especially we, my nephew. Legal acquaintance. Legal acquaintance. Okay. Love you, baby. Bye. I love you, my partner and equal. My partner and equal. So you don't know much about the kaiju RPG. You create your own monsters and have various campaign scenarios to play through. It's like Godzilla 2 done right. That sounds awesome. Rikio <laughs> says, is it bad that I plan to have all my players to basically take control of Godzilla in combat all at once? No, that sounds awesome. That's actually... <laughs> you can't find your pants. Good luck, Rikio. I don't think we can help you from here, my man. That's interesting. Jess is going to sew you pants, bro. So you're all set. Never find your pants ever again. Okay. Oh, God. Mario, you fucking roll, man. That roll. Don't roll. Don't roll, Mario. Please don't roll. I'm telling Mario to stop rolling. Because it's killing us. He refuses to listen, though. He's like, I'm going to roll forever. It's the best. It's so great. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. He won't, though. It He's... sounds like you're talking to a cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop rolling. Yeah. Cut, cut tape. I'm not going to beat this level. I'm going to have to redo the last... I don't really... I, it'll, it'll put me back two levels, and they were clearly easy enough levels for me to breeze through, but still. there are still. no save points in any of these, are there? Well, there's every... Um, after every boss fight, it saves. So that's why I only have to do two levels over again. Oh, here we go. This is working. Here we go. Maybe I will beat it. And maybe it'll be an, ex an uncharacteristically easy boss fight. Come on, baby. All right, and I gotta keep hopping. Fuck, but you also have to move forward, or else. I think we're gonna keep this plate. Keep that plate. It looks like our plates. I thought it was yeah, it our. Like our plate. Yeah. That's why I took it. Yeah, I thought it was one of ours. <laughs> and I asked the, the president about it. The president said, oh. of the company. Uh, Jess, Arikio needs you to FaceTime him, uh, cause he needs his blankie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can I just tell him that he's a big boy and he's very brave 
wave and he can do it on his own? I, I mean, I think the mic might have picked that up. This mic is, is hot tonight. Uh, a little behind the scenes info. We noticed in setting up when we were switching games. Fuck. He just impaled himself. Face first through a spike, Jess. I mean, it was mostly my fault, but... Look at this cool game over screen, though. Oh, that is cool. He's what a, does this have to do with Donkey Kong? He's the bad boy. You don't even see him. Yeah, you do. Oh. That, 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 lo that level with, with the boulders that I had to get to the top, he was right there. Okay, so he, that's like the... And then at the end of... Doing, at so. the end of each world... It's like, it's like the arcade one. Yeah. Where, yeah. Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's the villain in this. He's the villain. More like a got that sweet tie, though. Well, yeah, he's more like he's less like he's not like a Bowser where he's evil and trying to take over the world. He's more like a cheeky rival. Yeah. You know, that's that's how I felt about when Donkey Kong's the bad guy. Oh, but he's I guess got he's, somebody. Ki he's kidnapping a, a human woman though, so that's I guess. Uh, he's showing his ass. Yeah, his big old butt when he wiggles through the door. The anime. I really love the you animations call in this game. Me into this guy's town and show so your ass. ass oh man we haven't watched Django Unchained in forever I'd love to watch that I would love that too oh I should have Glorious Bastards I want to yeah. see how those hold up after the last couple of years I bet they hold up pretty well I bet they do too because those those two rely I don't think they're adorable right they, they don't rely yeah they're not cute yeah like uh like Pulp Fiction and things like that are Although there are some really cute parts of Jango. Yeah. But they're not they're not like I'm trying to sound smart writer cute. Yeah, 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 they are yeah. nice character moment yeah, the, cute. The, the like you're thinking choices. of right and song choices. Yeah, you're thinking yeah. of Django and King uh like their montage their best friend montage. That's exactly what I'm thinking. That's cute, but yeah. it's not because the writer is jerking himself off. It's cute it's, because we like those characters. Like those characters and the song choices the are good, excellent. They Song yeah. and there's a sweet montage yep. of him learning how to shoot guns. Yep. That dude, that is a movie I could handle a sequel to. Yeah. Django's yeah. still not chained anymore. Like, like yeah, his let's, just let's his life is a cool happens. bounty hunter with his wife. Or or like even like twenty years down the line. Like maybe he's a grandpa. And yeah. Michael B. Jordan is his uh Oh his apprentice. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. his son. Yeah. That'd be sweet, man. Fuck. I just want Michael B. Jordan to be in more things. He's really great. He he did a super good job in Black Panther. I just can't get over that thirsty girl. <laughs> who, who chomped her retainer in half. Retainer. Yeah. It was pretty great. I'm going back for real now. Sure. I know. Did you give Riccio his uh his hot cocoa and his teddy bear? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, you're all set. Whatever he says, he's a liar. <laughs> I gave it to uh, as all children are. Good. His pants. Well, I will sew him pants. Good. Excellent work, Jessica. I already committed to that. You did. That's true. You promised. You promised new pantalones. I can figure out his size. Yeah, you could guess it. All right. I love you all. Love you, baby. Bye. Gibe. Gibe. <laughs> what? Gibe. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, when when his mind gets scrambled and they just strung together old voice clips. Yeah. I want to make love to your butt, children. Yeah. Uh, oh, South Park. I have a mixed relationship with you now that I didn't used to have. Yeah. Toots. I don't know if I feel like getting into all of it, but yeah. I could. I don't feel like it. Kyo. Blint. We watched one of the newer ones, and it just it just kind of wasn't working. It was too Trumpy. It was too Trumpy, but. We did notice the the stuff that was completely removed from politics was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, we got the word from Randy or 
Yeah. Randy is still super funny. The kids dicking around doing stupid stuff is still funny. But the man, the any of the any of the topical stuff is a real drag. Fuck. This fucking level is gonna make me crazy. Or Mango Unchained, the Seth Rogen parody. Oh my god. Ricky O's Trump. Yep. Welcome back to Gay Theory. Oh no. Is Trump actually legal acquaintance to the Ferret family? No. No. Ricky O, you little monster. Fucking anarchist. How dare you? What gives you the right? I'm going to disown my legal acquaintance, Rikyo. <laughs> oh, God. Did did Seth Rogen make a Django Unchained parody called Mango Unchained? Because I both could really see that, but I think you're joking. But it's like, maybe not. That fucking roll... What? He didn't drop that far. That wasn't that far, Mario. He's just rolling to fuck with me now. We did see Pacific Rim too. I I, I think uh, if it's just uh, Ted, if it's just you, me, and Arikio here, I think uh, I think we've all seen it. I'm working on my review. I'm hoping, hopefully, that'll be out on Saturday. Fuck that roll, dude. I can't. Okay, I think what I need to do is do my handstand jump just everywhere because I don't think he I don't think he'll roll out of it. Fuck, I'm already down to one life. Ooh, this game got tough. <laughs> I love his trip. So the triple jump is this level is fucking nuts. Granted, it is the last, I think it's the last normal level, because after this world, it's like a four-stage boss fight. So I get why this level's so fucking evil, but it's still fucking evil. <laughs> Ricky says, unfortunately, yes. Ricky, I think, uh, I think Pacific Rim 2 is going to be a Jurassic World situation for us, where you hate it, and I think it was fine. <laughs> Not good. You know, kind of good. You're kind of referencing Sausage Party. Ted said it was entertaining, but it can go fuck itself. Yeah, that's not too far off. It's like, okay, thanks for the handy, but uh, why are there lumps everywhere now? <laughs> just, you're just mashing it. Yeah, they... There were a couple pretty bad calls. What's funny is... um. I don't know if this is like funny, but Newt turning evil and there being Jaeger, fuck, those walking on those, walking on, jumping on and navigating those, um, those boulders sucks. They're very slippery and they're physics wise. They're a little weird. Uh -huh. But yeah, the the stuff with with Evil Newt and the the Kaiju Jaeger hybrids, that's all really old stuff. Like that's that was basically uh, Del Toro's sequel pitch from the get go, which is funny because I thought they said they weren't going to use that stuff. So I managed to still be surprised, even though I knew about all these elements. For some, I had it in my head for some reason that those definitely weren't being used. So I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, Matt, everything about Mako was a swing and a miss. Now, did they give us the bird? Because I remember, I remember the one Kid Jaeger giving a double deuce to a dead monster. When did they give us the bird? Because I saw there was a tweet about that too. I mean, metaphorically, they gave us the bird by making Nude Evil and killing Mako, but. 
I don't know. I can I, I can roll. With, I mean, you guys know my terrible sense of humor. I can roll with some dad jokes. So Trollolo, I thought, I mean, it, again, it caught me off guard and I laughed. Um, it's not like the best joke of all time or even the best joke of that movie. Um, Cause I would say the, I mean, I guess it's not a joke per se, but I think, I think the biggest genuine laugh um, and like well-earned goof was when um, when Scrapper showed up at the very end and like helped them out, and it was just it was all it was all just like cute body language and and I don't know it was like a sweet goofy little gag that I think they handled really well. There we go. All right, boy, at least I have this level down to a fucking science. I feel pretty groovy about that. Oop, not that one. So not a, a science I don't know very well. I haven't done to that kind of a science. Okay. Oh god. I gotta be I gotta be way way more careful about jumping on these weird little moving boulder platforms because they are finicky. Bam. Oh, yeah. The Jaegers give the bird to a monster. Yeah, I remember that. The Jaegers were looking right at us when they did that. Okay. Yeah, I, I liked I liked Shao's. Um, I liked that they shut up Shao to be a villain the whole time, and then she's cool. That was a. I liked that. That was a good twist. Legal acquaintance to the Legion from Revelation. Oh man. Thinks that Numa Numa is the best song of all time. I do. Hey man. Uh, oh shit. Who sampled? Who sampled Numa Numa like years later? There was like a. There was like a rapper who sampled it, and I was like, cool, fine. I don't know. It takes pop culture stuff has to really. I don't know, man. I used to get I used to get way spicier about um, pop culture stuff, and. I've really mellowed out. <laughs> I've really mellowed out because there's just so much, there's so much dumb bullshit that if it's dumb bullshit that also made me smile, I'm like, cool. I don't know, but that's not to, that's not to downplay. Fuck. Oh, I hate this level. It's a terrible level. Um, that's not, that's not to downplay the people who are disappointed. Cause I, what, uh, seeing the reaction that this movie has gotten from like the super hardcore Pacific Rim fans has made, has like really made me understand how important that movie was or is to some people. Like I, I love it as a, as a giant monster fan and as a Guillermo del Toro fan, but like it really struck a chord for like the, the cult following, like the people, the fucking people who make the, uh, the, the the Pacific Rim con like and who cosplay as the characters and stuff like it's it it means a lot to those people and uh, I I'm I'm sad I'm like I'm sad for them that it was such a shit sandwich according to them I thought it was fine like I it was a lot of fun. yeah it was super fun I think uh, I think killing Mako was a mistake or at least killing her that early. Well, that's the thing. They that would I think that would have been better is if they didn't bring her back, yeah, and just let her be done, and then spend more time with John Boyega and the other kid. I thought the the fight. The fight. Oh, all the action was fantastic. Well, I thought it lacked though. I thought sometimes it just looked like Transformers. It did. I I just got to that part in my review, and I was thinking about Pacific Rim One. Yeah. And how everything had weight. Everything you felt ev yes and that was you would think that that would detract from the action and make it like hard to see it stuff it, it made it look real because it reminds you of how huge everything yeah. is and it's dramatic it's very it's it's all very epic when there's yep. just tor just a they always fight in like a monsoon or some shit in that first movie and so every time they punch each other or hit there's just in addition to the hit there's like an explosion of yeah. water that yeah. sprays yeah. everywhere yeah, those are awesome. yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's lightning crashing in the background. Guillermo did that first one, yep. 
And it really shows. Yeah, some, sometimes the new one looked kind of flat and cheap. Um, but, I don't know. I liked all, I liked the action. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was fun. I love John Boyega. He's great. John Boyega is great. The kids. Yep. I they did the a good kids. job with the kid. All, all the kids. Yeah. They handled that really yeah. well. I would have liked more time with them, though. Because yeah, you only developed the main kid. kid. Yeah. But also, it's just a fun monster movie. Like, yeah. I mean, take it for what it is. Yeah. Kind of thing. Like, yep. Yeah, or, 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 a 90s, or, or a 90s Godzilla or, movie. Or like a 90s, like, like destroy all monsters yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, that is, that is kind of the tone it had, which is fine. And no, I'm totally fine with it. Like, I, I enjoyed it. It was yeah. fun, but that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, I beat that level. What and were you expecting? <laughs> I know, I was, well, I was a little shocked. So mainstream critics hate it because they always hate that kind of, well... They hated it more than they hated Pacific Rim 1, which was surprising. Well, not, no, it wasn't surprising because it's not it quite as good. It was not as good as Pacific Rim 1. Yeah. I mean, in terms of, like, like visually, it was not as good as yeah. Pacific Rim Yeah. But there's, like, a, there's a super hardcore cult following of the first movie, and they were, oh, shit. They're, they are, like. Well, the whole cult following is the reason Charlie Day had a bigger role in the second yeah, one. Yeah, that's true. He had a bigger role, but it is, it is sad that he's. The bad. He's, they've all seen it. Oh, That's why we're talking about all this shit. I know, I know, I know we did spoilers last time. We were spoilers. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is hard, hard game. Ricky was. Yeah. Ricky said the, all the, the height. Excuse me. All the behind the scenes stuff uh, indicates production was a shit show. Oh, yeah, okay. and then them lying about Ron Perlman oh, is so God, funny. Is such bullshit. Yeah. Uh, no scheduling problems. I don't do. Cameos. I don't do cameos, bitch. Yeah, that was super funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you were saying that, that, that Deadpool 2's post-production has been they rough. Had, like, they had, like, crisis reshoots. Oh, man. That sucks. I really like Deadpool I know. 1. I know. And I then this too. this thing came out about the cartoon. There's some kind of weird bad blood going on I with... Uh, that's different. That, that's totally... That's totally not involved with... The well, it's separate from the movie, but it's just... It's like that could have oh, been another cool one. thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have been an amazing thing. That would have been a... Yeah, do, yeah, Don, yeah, Don Glover writing it. Yeah, that would have yeah, been great. No, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... I, uh, and again, another thing where they say scheduling conflict, he's like, nope. Oh, nope, oh, you just didn't like my this, script, asshole. script I wrote. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I could totally see... I could totally see a Deadpool cartoon working kind of like how Archer is. Like, that's kind of what I was picturing. Yeah, me too. And it would have yeah. been, it would have been perfect. Like a funny adult cartoon. Yep. Yeah. And Don Glover right in it. Yeah, that yeah. was like a slam dunk. What are you gonna do? This is ready to go. I don't. I won't do it while you're streaming. Yeah, I'll 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 flip okay. it on afterwards. All right, I'm going to bed real. Sure. Yeah. Am I too loud? Is that what is that what no, drew you I from just heard bedtime? You talk about Pacific Rim and yeah. I yeah. I love you. I love you. Good night. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Oh dear. Come on, Mary. Oh no. Oh, I'm b I'm bone zoned. Unless I can do my side flip. Nope, that's not good enough. Give me in. Okay. <laughs> that was silly. I mean, I guess it takes place 10 years in the future, so maybe Mount Fuji was active in 10 years. I mean, doesn't Godzilla fall into Mount Fuji? 
There's the, I guess it must be. A, I don't know. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to check something real quick. Just in case. Because I thought, I thought Mount Fuji is like technically active. Like it's not erupting. But it's not dead either. Let's, I, I want to I wanna consult ye old internet. Okay, so as of July 17, 2014, Huffington Post said that Mount Fuji is in a critical state and could be ready to blow. Uh, after 307 years, the massive active volcano in Japan may be due for another eruption. So just because it's not gushing lava doesn't mean it's inactive. Wikipedia says it's active. It last erupted in 1707 and 1708. Yeah. So you can be mad at you can be mad at Pacific Rim Uprising for a lot of things, but it looks like they were right about uh, they're right about Mount Fuji being a technically active volcano. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't need to open that one yet, do I? I just need to drop these nasty bo Oh, wait, that opens up that. I see. Man, I wish... See, in this game, I can't go farming for lives like in uh, the Donkey Kong Countries is. There's that triple jump. I don't do that triple jump often. Usually it's by accident, eh? They show the area where Godzilla and Kong were fighting, and instead of closed off, it was a molten lava flow. Well, yeah. <laughs> Therefore, movie of the year. All right. All right, guys. I get it. I liked it. I didn't love it. It was fun. I'm... I'm I, it, my, uh, my stance on, on Rampage has been getting... I've been getting a little kind of excited for it. I guess I guess the big thing. Um, I guess I guess what got me more interested in Rampage was the reveal that, because it really looked like they were just going to be giant animals, and it's like, oh, snooze. But um, and it's not like they're. I mean, they're still basically giant animals. But um, this reveal that they they have traits from other animals, I feel like is a pretty. God damn it. I was right there. But yeah, them, them being weird mishmashes of traits from different animals, I think is fun. <laughs> That's true, Rikyo. It's not a good movie unless there's an active volcano in it. That's what I've learned. That's why Ghostbusters is my favorite movie of all time. All those active volcanoes. <laughs> Remember... Remember when uh, Bill Murray and Harold, Harold Ramis throw Slimer into a, a volcano? Burp, 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 burp. Actually, I can leave that open. Who gives a shit? I actually would love to see Bill Murray and Harold Ramis, R.I.P., throw, uh, throw Slimer into a volcano. That actually sounds hilarious. Burp, 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 burp. There we go. See, that time the roll actually helped. The roll's okay on this level. Just super not on the next one. I should be grabbing that one up. Instead of ignoring it? What a fool I've been. Okay, don't... I gotta not fuck with that one. I don't... After I switch it the first time, I never need to touch it ever again. Fuck. All right, all right, baby. I think I'm gonna be playing these this handful of levels a few times tonight, fellas. So strap in. 
There you go. Yeah, Liz looks cool. Uh, giving giving the the giving Ralph the uh, the the flying squirrel membrane I think is great. It's the closest I think we'll ever get to seeing the big budget version of Varen. Godzilla fell into Mount Mihara. Okay, he came out of Mount Fuji, but forced an eruption, swimming up through it. that's why Wes Anderson is the worst director why you ask because did you know his films fun fact volcano list yeah huge mistake what an idiot I mean god willing he'll put three or four volcanoes into uh, Isle of Dogs but we'll, we'll see you know maybe he'll finally make a good movie with 75 volcanoes in it geology's cool okay <laughs> you guys are dicks <laughs> Two lives. Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah. I've beaten this once. I was like, I like sleepwalk beat it. Man, that's what I gotta not think about it. I gotta think. Oh my god. What was that? I was standing in the lava. I'm just kidding. You guys can rip on geology all you want. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. God, they wait a long time. Fuck. The timing is so... It's these four platforms that are fucking me. The rest of the level is tough, but doable. But that sequence of four platforms, I like can't get the rhythm of. Because it's a conveyor belt, a thwomp. Oh god! I need, you know, what? I need to jump on them when they're high up. Because I keep waiting for them to drop to my level, and then Mario gets twenty feet up in the air, so he has to tumble forty miles. I need to jump on them when they're high up. I'm gonna try that. I need to adapt. I need to evolve. Oh, shit. I should grab these thingies so I get more lives when I grab all this, all this accoutrement. I like that this, uh, this bullet spitting plant does make a pretty tasty little like cannonball sound when he spits. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I need to grab the shit so I can get some lifes. Like the guy who made Blade Runner 2049 saw Pacific Rim 2 and thought, you know, I should make a movie more like that. Yeah, he's right. Godzilla 84, I... Is right down the middle for me. Like, I... I kind of... I, th I think uh, today was the post... Was just a like a that that weird promotional picture of the suit or the that mid explosion picture of the suit where it, look, it looks awesome. Godzilla looks awesome in that. The movie itself is kind of in the middle for me, and but the the geology stuff is sweet. I think what throw part of what throws me is the bird stuff, which I think was their attempt at their very early attempt, which is cool, at tying you know dinosaurs and birds together. But uh. It was just weird to me. Like, bird, oh, we'll play bird calls and that'll, like, confuse them. Which, I don't know. Which I get. I think one of the things that bugs me about that movie is that they're going for, you know, a more realistic uh, take on the character. You know, and, they're, and they, they have all this science stuff and it, it all seems very grounded. And then they're like, okay, bring out the flying laser tank. And it's like, hang on, guys. <laughs> Kind of, kind of got a little tonal whiplash here, my man. Or were we on the verge of laser tanks in the early '80s? Excuse me, flying laser tanks. Ooh. 
Ooh, there's that triple jump. I love, okay, I pointed out the triple jump earlier, um, but I love at the end of the triple dun- jump, he does a little, like, gymnast move. It's very cute. The animations in this are very cute. Oh, I see. I want to get this life by springing off this boy before I ooh, before I send him down below, I presume. Damn, or not. Or it's just some straight bullshit. <laughs> Godzilla and Dino. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I assumed dinosaurs would be the bridge between Godzilla and birds. Well, yeah, and in Biolante, yeah, since they had established lasers on the Super X. Oh, fuck. I didn't switch the switch. I didn't switch the switch. Travesty. Alright. Alright, come in. There we go. Should you get that life? I want it. Did I not switch this boy? Get over here. I like that you can either push or pull a switch from either side. Most games would make you do one or the other. This game, no, no. You just grab that bitch and go. Like you can do this. Or this. I love that. Every game should do that. Every, whether it's got switches in it or not. <laughs> switches get stitches. Ooh, don't smoosh me, sir. Yep. All right. Oh god, that was pointlessly close twice. Come Oh fuck. My reflex is to always leap and I need to just I think I need to just walk off edges sometimes. Shit is getting spicy. Okay. Kill him. Oh, Matthew. You dumb dumb. You can't throw this you can't throw the key through the ceiling of the level or it disappears. Saw that coming. Ugh. <laughs> Rikyo's hobby is pteranodons. Great. Oh yeah, there are mazers in in the first one too. I forgot about that. I Super X annoys me for some reason. Except in a couple of them. But in that first Super X, I'm like, I I really relate to Godzilla because I want to punch it. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah no yeah throwing the key off screen is a real bummer. That I will chalk up as like a memory limitation because it's a game boy game like i'm assuming that's just a processing power issue though this game is pretty devilish so it could just be they felt like being fucking evil mm. oh bad decision making bad decision making um i think i think three is my favorite super x Two, which one has the 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 beam mirror? Cause that's that's hitting that like so ridiculous that it's awesome kind of thing. Cause super, even though even though the original Super X is a flying laser tank, you you can tell they were sort of going for grounded. But by by two and or three, they're like fuck it, it's it's a super thing. It's got super in the name. Let's go crazy. Not, you know, I can get on board with that. Oh, God. Oh, 
Okay, we are going to yeah, we'll just this part. This is the part I've been doing. We can do this easy, breezy. Oh fuck! I'm just making. See, these are just little dumb, little dumb goofs here and there. Okay, Cold War shit. That's actually a pretty, that's a pretty solid, I'd buy that. That's a decent explanation. And I guess you could, you could file Mazers under that too then. That's fair. Let's use it on him. Beam Mirrors Biolanta. Yeah, I like that. And then, and then three, it's like, it's like a huge, it's like a big bomber plane, but it's got the... It's got like the cadmium missiles, the, the the freeze missiles. Love it. I love it. I love the different shit they come up with to try and neutralize G-Man. Cold stuff seems to work the best. You got the iceberg and raids again. They they chemically froze him in Shin. Are there other ice things, or is it just... Maybe it's just those. Maybe it's just... A, that's a big franchise. A lot of stuff to keep track of. Oh, don't make the same mistake, Matt. For God's sake. Okay. Plop. Oh, God, there's that roll. The accursed roll. All right, now don't throw the key into the fucking nether realm that's one, that, that, that is flush with your head. There we go. Okay. I need to earn like seven lives for this next level. Snow puts him to sleep in Son of Godzilla, yeah. Okay, best I can do is two lives. Let's do that. Nope, one. <laughs> Mario, you son of a bitch. Alright. We'll make do. Oh god, I hate this level. This level's bad. I mean, it's not bad. I'm bad at it. And it makes me sad. Okay, so wait for it to start going up. There we go. That is the secret. And... Don't just ride it. You gotta think on your toes. Okay. Probably not gonna get it this time. <laughs> but it's good practice, Matthew. Okay. All right, Mario. Oh God. <laughs> the fact that there's a spike right there is so brutally unforgiving. Like, they know. They know you're going to time it wrong and just jam Mario's skull through that spike. This is this is one of those level... <laughs> this, this is one of those levels made by a, uh, a programmer that worships Satan. Oh, Dark Lord. Give me the power to make the most evil level anyone has ever played. Like, this motherfucker sacrificed a goat to make this level. This music's fun, though. Well, yeah, uh, Ted, I have seen... Now, I don't know if it was... I don't know if it was intended for the comeback movie, but I've, I've read, uh... Not, not Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, but... A Space Godzilla, which was fucking wild. One of the scripts had scientists wandering into Godzilla's <laughs> asshole and being attacked by Shocky Lost there. That, I mean, that could have been cool. I like, I do like giant monster movies that, um, really specific, like, they, they find ways to make the creature's giantness a plot element. Like, like, in the first Pacific Rim, when 
the whole the whole world building thing of of having uh, like like a black market for kaiju body parts was awesome. I love that so much. Um, and yeah, the fact that there's people like scaven just scavengers who make a living ah shit who make a living by uh, putting on a hazmat suit and pulling guts out was was awesome and they, they they dabbled with that a little bit with the uh with the 2014 godzilla by by opening the movie with them exploring a godzilla skeleton or whatever that was a muto skeleton i really dig shit like that or or gamma versus jiger when when the little kids pilot a submarine through them it's great it's great <laughs> that's true yeah yeah Charles, sir charles barkley is is a canon godzilla villain shaq's too busy with shaq fu he's gonna fight uh <laughs> shaq's gonna fight the cloverfield monster in uh cloverfield part four i guarantee it <laughs> The fourth, what's what's going on with the fourth Cloverfield movie? Is that coming out this year to theaters? Like it's such that's Cloverfield has become the weirdest franchise, which I I I'm into it. I think Ten Cloverfield Lane is still the best movie in that franchise, but I, I whatever they're doing, I'm digging it. All right. <laughs> oh, Mario. Come on, baby. Yeah, we got this one. We got this one down. Patrick. That was that was touch and go for a second. Those bullet boys are bad news. Alright. Godzilla Resurrected, Return of Godzilla from 1980. Yeah, there's some weird ones. Uh Cloverfield 3 was the Netflix movie. The what was it? The Cloverfield particle I literally I, I seriously can't remember what it's called was it Cloverfield particle Cloverfield principle it had a sciency name Cloverfield paradox there we go that's the one yeah and the Cloverfield paradox did the uh did the Dreamcast launch thing of being like, it comes out to my, it comes out after the Super Bowl during the Super Bowl. That was pretty cool. All right, all right. So remember, Matt, wait till it's high up to jump on it. Oh, you can't do that here, but that's okay. We stuck the landing. Oh my God! So many lucky landings. Hey, I'll take it. I'll and I have eight lives. So I don't have to get the accoutrement. I can just get out of here. Guys, I feel pretty fucking good. I think, I think it's gonna happen. And I got a life anyway. Got the life. Thank you, John Davis. Oh baby, we did it. Fuck yeah. Mm, I mastered you. I mastered you. I have mastery. Take that devil level, you freak bitch. <laughs> we won't discuss that i need to i, I would love to rewatch grand budapest hotel uh it's been a minute it's a great flick what do i do oh god are these i wonder if i can weaponize these boulder boys i'm thinking that's the idea 
I jump on them and pick them up. Yeah. Nice. There's again, there's constant wind pushing me to the right, so I'm not just I'm not just jittering around like a maniac. Ah, oh, I touched I touched him. Should not touch him. He's the boy I should not touch. <laughs> no way, dude. That's a good movie to quote. I, I welcome I welcome your Budapest quotes. I will say that is is a great flick, but it is a it, since I I think I've only seen it the one time, so I'm less familiar with it. But I really liked it. Oh, there's a bird pooping eggs. There's these bad boulder boys everywhere. This is a real. This is a real fright night. Oh my goodness. Okay. Man, I love... I, I'm i so glad they... Uh, if you're holding something, most things won't one-hit kill you. It is... Truly a godsend. Oh, that bird boy. That beautiful bird boy. Pooping eggs everywhere. Ugh. This is a weird one. It's... It doesn't, like, there's not really that much going on, but there's just enough happening. The constant wind is tough. This actually seems like the best place to chill, is right about here, until that bird boy gets in my face. Ah, that poopy bird man. I'm just gonna poop out eggs everywhere. Hope y'all don't mind. It's me, the bird. Oh yeah, it's over. It's over, baby. Nope. It's over for no one. Not even the bird. It's over, thank you, King! Mm. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Now there's one more world. I'm really curious. I think this next world... It's that tower that they've been hinting at for the last couple levels, which is really cool. Um, I think it's like a four-stage boss fight. Oh, wow. This is a very ambitious Game Boy game. Uh, Junior's here. Yeah, the bunch of those levels had had uh, wind stuff happening. <laughs> I don't remember that. I'll have to. Oh boy. Oh boy. Or maybe I do. Goodbye, Rocky Valley. I like that Rocky Valley had a hyphen. Okay, so it's not four stages, but still... Oh, it's Donkey Kong Tower with his head on it. Donkey Kong became a baller between games. Oh, he's he has golems in his tower. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, this looks devilish. Oh, my goodness. And a thwomp. Okay. At least there's no wind. Okay. Switch it on him. Oh, there's so much junk. Ah, okay. The switch opened that bad beast up. <laughs> oh, that'll be neat if these are all this type of level. And then the boss fights are, of course, still boss fight. Yeah, DK's Jewish. Do you never notice Cranky Kong has the the Hasidic rabbi curls? Fun fact. <laughs> I want to get to the, I want to get to another save point before I quit. That is my plan. Oh, this is oh his Springers are back. He hasn't he hasn't busted these out since. Uh, oh God, they have weird patterns. Oh no. You're unpredictable. Oh. Nice. Cool. Oh, that was that was a breeze. Ish. <laughs> he doesn't actually have that. I was just fucking with you. <laughs> I wonder 
if anybody's asked Nintendo what religion all their characters are. I wonder what they would say to that. Oh god, look at these skull boys. Oh, uh, butts. I just crawled right into that little demon. All right. Man, I'm, I'm fucking geek that we're in the home stretch. Okay. So I gotta wait for the door to open. But not... But not smear my face in the monster's face. The Legend of Zelda was supposed to be heavily Christian, but Nintendo made them take it out. Yeah, Nintendo of America is very gung-ho about no religious references at all. <clears throat> you always hear about like any graveyard or spooky kind of area in a video game they would just clear out any crosses just in case what's up Riccio what is up Riccio they're all Scientologists why are you so bad that's a great question to be fair I've never played this part of this game before and it's not as easy as it looks okay so shove it Oh, boy. Oh, God. You can't stand on them. This is going to be rough. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can't... You can't touch these nasty boys. So timing is going to be earthing. So I need to wait for him to walk around... Then I need to squeeze under here, squeeze under there. There we go. Oh. Oh, God. A shranky mushroom. Shranky stanky. Oh, dear. Okay. There we go. Woomp, there it is. Woomp, there it is, baby. We're beating this boss. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. Thanks, Ted. I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh, it's like Dark Card Jr. Wonderful. Oh, God. With, with, with bad boy mushrooms. I love it. I love that they're throwing back. Oh, I'm. but instead of freeing Donkey Kong, I'm imprisoning Donkey Kong Jr. That is hilarious. Throw mushrooms at me, will you? It's me, Super Mario. Fuck. <laughs> Those famous Mario quotes. It's me, Super Mario, and fuck. He says that in Mario Kart 9. <laughs> Mario, please climb the rope. Okay. Oh, boy. There we go. Come on. Boom. I love getting that twofer. One key, baby. That's it. Oh, I shrank. And died. <laughs> oh, he didn't roll that time. Thanks, Mario. Convenient. Dude, you know, Monster Hunter World is probably tough, but it's also a new game. And new games and old games are hard in different ways. And I don't think, and, and that's not a, that's not like a judgment call. I'm not saying like, oh, new games aren't hard, blah, blah, blah. but there, new games are more about, here's a crazy challenge. We're going to give you as many resources as you need to get through with them. So you, they'll, they'll, a game like Dark Souls can drop a crazy hard boss on you. And then you just have like. You can just keep trying it over and over again, which is awesome. It, it, it lets game developers do, like, force some crazy challenges on you. These old games throw pretty solid challenges at you, but the setbacks when you fail are bigger. Boom. Okay, I was wondering how that was going to go. Oh, oh, 
dark. This is a, uh, some story. Oh, this is it. We're in the home stretch now. I mean, we're already in the home stretch. We're in the super home stretch. Reminding you about that foot thing. We're going to have to do that. Guarantee. <sighs> All right. And that puts that 12 on the dot, fellers. Uh, so I think I'm going to call it an evening. But, uh, yeah, next week, next week we'll be polishing this puppy off, I think. Which is extremely exciting. It's cool. It's a cool game. I know I yell at it sometimes, but I really like it. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Ted, Riccio, thank you for watching. As always, it's great yakking with you guys. Um, anybody else watching, thank you for stopping in and watching. Or if you're watching us on YouTube, thanks for checking us out. Uh, I'm Matt. Um, this is Super Apartment Friends. We're doing Donkey Kongathon, and I'm just going to keep doing it. I don't know. Um, maybe, you know, maybe... Maybe after I beat this one, it'll be time for a break. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I told you guys my job got extended through the end of April. So, which is good because it's more job. But it's weird because, like, I was getting psyched up and ready. You know, I was starting to plan some stuff uh, post-job. And, and now it's like, well, that's, that's not the case now. Um... When I am post-job, I do plan to stream more. Uh, I no longer know, you know, because they say, oh, end of April, but who knows. Uh, so that's been that's been turbulent and, and good, but also strange. Who wants to hear a Godzilla-related Ready Player One spoiler before you leave? Um, I've read the book, but I did see the clip today. Um... So, Ricky, I know what you're talking about. Uh, which is cool. Which And, and um, AV Club gave it a good review. I, I put a lot of stock in AV Club's reviews for the most part. Um, they kind of... Their thoughts... A lot of times line up with my thoughts. Not always. Um, and I had faith in Spielberg to kind of... Force it into being a decent movie. I'm curious, though. I'm very curious. Um... So yeah, I don't know if Ted wants to know that. So we'll keep it under our little hat a -roonies. Or not. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was surprised. Uh, I was surprised they that Toho was cool with that. That was really interesting to me. And and that's that's great that he's in there, but it's like, why didn't you get Ultraman? Ultraman's like a big part of the book. Like, a, a, a significant chunk of the third act of the book is about Ultraman. And I was really excited to see them together. But I guess Toho maybe was like, no way, Jose, as they are wont to do. Oh, well. What are you going to do? He has a very specific design, and I'm super happy with how he looks. And you'll see why if you ever say... Yeah, the, the, the clip I saw was, you know... It was super bootlegged. It wasn't like an official clip. Um, so yeah, it was kind of a silhouette, but yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I, I I I didn't expect them to get him because, and it's especially because it seems like they've tried to recast Ultraman with the Iron Giant, which I love the Iron Giant, but he's no Ultraman. Come on, come on. I guess their heads are similar. They both have that fin. They could have told Toho to screw off and use Ultraman to replace Mech... Yeah, yeah. I feel like Ultraman was more important to the story than Mechagodzilla, but Mechagodzilla is the bigger get, especially for a U.S. audience. It's interesting. It's interesting that that's how it how it panned out. Because, yeah, the Dragon Zord would have, would have had people shitting bricks here, too. It's an interesting point. I feel like the... Uh, I feel like the behind-the-scenes stuff for Ready Player One will be as interesting as the movie. Like like the making of featurettes. I don't know. Mix, real mixed feelings on Ready Player One. I liked it, but didn't. The book, I mean. I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, yeah. Yeah. Lots of monster stuff this year. I know, I know, Ricky, you were saying it's not good monster stuff, but I liked Pacific Rim. I'm excited about Rampage. 
I don't know. It's neat. I'm just glad there's so much of it, I guess. Yeah, it is it is dope that Steven Spielberg uh has has gotten a taste of Godzilla. Yeah, that is that is sweet. I always um I always wish I I always I always wish Jim Henson could have done some kaiju stuff cuz I think he would have made just fucking crazy suits. I think that would have been sick. That's that's not really related to Spielberg, but thinking of of classic 70s 80s era creative types in Hollywood that would have been sweet that would have been sweet guys um is there anything else are there any other tasty topics we should uh knock out real quick Spielberg tried to make Jaws like a Japanese monster movie that's fucking awesome makes sense that movie rules I love Jaws shit shit <laughs> <laughs> Beep, beep, beep. Uh, yeah, as always, guys, uh, if you like this, check us out on Twitter, check us out on Facebook, check us out on Mastodon, check out our old videos on YouTube. We're everywhere. And the shark didn't work, he stumbled onto the whole less is more thing. I love that less is more thing, I think that works. You either gotta do less is more, or you gotta have your monster constantly mutating. Or you don't have to, I think it's really good to. What else is going on? I think I think next week we'll be we'll be here Thursday like normal. Yeah. <laughs> good night, legal acquaintance, Riccio. Thanks for stopping in. Good night, Ted. Uh, good night, anybody else out there. Hope you have a super apartment weekend, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. More Danky Kang, Danky Kang a thing. Ooh, I look like a hot mess. Mm, sorry. Alright, I'm out of here. Deuces. Uh, I love you all forever. You're perfect. Bye.